Should you buy a Valkyrie? <laughs> ah, the Valkyrie. Often the left out aircraft of the bunch when it comes to comparison videos around the web. But today, the Valkyrie is getting a video all to itself in an attempt to answer the burning question. Should you buy a Valkyrie? Well, let's take a look at it first. Before we begin, I'd like to thank KDAU33 for helping out in the shooting. Shooting! Ha! Shooting of this episode! Real appreciated, dude. At a fair price of just $2.85 million, the Valkyrie is a Vietnam War era helicopter with a plethora of guns at its disposal. Featuring an explosive cannon on the front and a heavy machine gun, one on each side of the aircraft. Sounds pretty cool already, right? Well, unfortunately, as the sole pilot of the Valkyrie, you can't actually use these weapons. The pilot can only control the aircraft itself, while up to three friends as passengers take charge of the weapon systems. So in effect, this aircraft is pretty much useless unless you have at least one friend to accompany you in battle. But enough about the weapons for now, allow me to talk about the aircraft itself in terms of handling. The Valkyrie for an aircraft with all these munitions on board handles very nicely indeed. Easily capable of swiftly flying through skyscrapers and forests, it's got pretty good acceleration and top speed. Basically all I can say about the handling is, it's pretty good. Definitely an easy enough helicopter to pilot. A lot easier than the Savage, but obviously not as good as, say, a Buzzard. Back to the weapons. The cannon on the front, which is accessed by the passenger in the cockpit by pressing the action button, takes form of a first-person perspective and can freely look around irrelative of the helicopter's current heading to a certain extent. While the helicopter isn't in the air, you can easily see the maximum look angle of the cannon's camera, which has a 180 degree angle of turn on it, and while it's flying you can look vertically downwards, which for a cannon like this makes it incredibly useful for attacking targets that might be trying to evade you. And targets will be trying to get the hell away from you while you're flying this thing at them, trust me. The cannon itself has a pretty slow fire rate compared to some of the other aircraft weapons, but the fact that the rounds explode and the ability to freely look in any direction in front of you makes this one of the deadliest weapons in the game. It's accuracy more than makes up for its slow rate of fire, and personally I'd rather use this than use the Savage, which Yes, it does have one monster of a machine gun, though it's incredibly difficult to control, and you just can't get the shots where you need them. But with this, you can attack anyone with complete confidence. One thing I don't like about this cannon is the fact that, like all cannons, it has a pretty limited range. So the pilot's gonna have to get pretty close in order to allow the cannon to reach its target. Onto the side machine guns. Like the cannon, it has a 180 degree angle of aim available. And when two side gunners are aboard, you pretty much have 360 degrees of PAIN to dish out. However, the side machine guns do lack a lot of vertical aimability. You only have about 40 degrees to aim up and down, so again the pilot is going to have to get pretty close to the ground for these weapons to be effective. The machine guns themselves are also pretty devastating to unleash on your targets. They dish out a lot of damage in quick succession. However, the rounds don't explode, so don't expect to be blowing up any Kurumas, or in that case, insurgents and rhino tanks. These machine guns are more suitable for attacking foot mobiles and enemy aircraft. So to summarize, the cannon on the front is for attacking everything, but not so good at blowing up enemy aircraft due to the lack of peripheral vision, and the side machine guns are effective against foot mobiles and unarmored vehicles. So with all this in mind, consider yourself this. Do you have a vendetta against someone in the server and you have a friend who also wants to blow them to little pieces? Then grab a Valkyrie right now at Warstock Cash and Carry. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the Pyrone Gaming channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!